Okay, I have started wiring the garage, and I didn't really put a lot of the beginnings of this on film. This is actually the first video about electrical work I've done. Um, I guess I should go over what I've done. For who does the electrical inspections and they come and put these little stickers in your panel when they've done their inspection. So this first one was when this was a pump house. They came out two years ago and did the inspection and they put this sticker in here. And then I needed to get an inspection done to get the final inspection for the garage done so the county, which is Kitsap County, um, came out and said, well you need a new, a new sticker for us to buy off on the garage. Okay, that's what I said. So, I moved the panel. The minimum allowed stuff in a garage in Kitsap County, and actually other counties also local in Washington, I've, I've since found out by talking to several other people, you have to have one plug-in per garage bay. My garage is considered a three-bay garage. I have one big door and a small door. So I had to have three plug-ins. So I put these two in and then two more over there. And that, so I had four, which is one extra. You have to have one minimum of one light, right, per uh, within eight feet of the electric panel minimum, and you have to have one exterior light on the man door going into the garage. That is the absolute minimum you're allowed in a garage. Um, I thought I would be able to get away with that for short term, and I would be able to get the garage inspection done. And get the final inspection by the county done, and I would be good to go. Uh, due to a lot of other extenuating circumstances, that really hasn't worked out that way. And I ended up applying for my final building permit, or excuse me, my final building inspection on the garage, and the lady actually failed me. <laughs> yeah, this was about two, last, so a week ago, eight days ago, I applied for that inspection and I failed the inspection. Because this second sticker said, move panel instead of garage final. Had it said garage final, I would have passed my inspection, no problem. Although everything else is done correctly, it's all, all, all done right. Um, so it was my own fault, and I called up L&I, and with, anyway, a whole roundabout way, a whole bunch of hassle, I'm just gonna wire the whole garage, get it all done, get an L&I inspection that'll say garage final, and I will call the county inspector, and she will come back, and she will do the final inspection, and we'll be good to go. So what I've started doing is installing some of the plugins, which I'll show you in a minute. I've got some of the blue boxes installed along the back wall and the side walls. I've installed the exterior decorative lights on the front of the garage. I have installed the plugins for the garage door openers. And I've also installed low voltage wiring for the sensors on the garage door and the garage door switch that will be to open the garage doors. I didn't want my wiring for my garage door openers to be exposed, um, so I ran it inside of the studs, which garage door companies won't do for you. You need to do yourself if you want to do that. Um, and I'll show you what that looks like in a second. So that's what I've done so far. So what do I have left? I have to go run a whole bunch of wiring for all the plugins. I have to go put all the cam lights in, which I just went down today and bought. Oh, what do I got? I got six, I got 12. I got Six, well, 24 cam lights. Oh, right? And a mess. I need to clean up before I really get started. So, these are cam lights. And these are rated for contact with insulation. They're the taller style because they go up in an attic style and roof. Um, I like these ones a lot. Um, <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Um, I just pulled this cover out of here, which was inside the light. 
I actually just bought the wrong thing. I bought 24 of the wrong thing, and considering they're 50 bucks a box, that's $200 in lights I need to go return now. So that's super cool. My own fault. Let me show you why this is a problem. So this style of light, and they're all the same way. Let me just make sure it's not inside of here. It's not. This style of light works with the new style of plugins. So this wire is inside of here. And this is the new style of light. Now, these are like seven bucks a piece. And seven bucks? Nine bucks. Eight bucks. Eight ninety-nine, I think, is what they were a piece. And the light bulb and the light fixture and the cover that goes with this, it really they add up to like they come up to like $35, $40 per can light to be installed. And I tried to buy inexpensive ones, and I didn't, and there's a different bunch of different choices, and I didn't realize that this was this style. I, what I want is a normal style that you would thread like an LED light bulb into, and then you put a cheaper cover over the top so it's not so expensive. So I'm gonna have to take all these back and get the right ones, which is really crappy. That's okay. The other problems I've already, the reason that I, well, I could cancel my Amazon order. I ordered light bulbs and cut light covers on Amazon this morning for the style that's screw in. So I either have to go return these so that that stuff will work or I need to cancel that order. I'll decide that here in a few minutes after I get off of camera. So it turns out that I ended up canceling my Amazon order of the LED screw-in style lights and the light covers. And I reordered the new style LED lights that plug into the style of cans that I bought at the store. And what you're watching me do here is actually install those cans in the ceiling. I'm starting on one end working my way down. You can see that uh, behind me there, there are three that are already installed. So slowly but surely, I work my way through this and get all of these installed. We end up with four rows of four for a total of 16. So I ended up with a full box plus two, so uh, six, seven, eight can lights total that I'm going to go ahead and go return. Um, a box of six is about 50 bucks, so definitely worth returning if you don't use them. But I wouldn't want to be short. And I actually think that we might have a little bit too much light in the garage, so I'm going to end up putting two switches in, which I will show you in a little while. So what I've built behind me here um, is just a bunch of scrap plywood and two by sixes I had left over. It did take a few minutes. I did go down and get a couple pieces, some, some wing nuts and a piece of all thread. And inside of here is a piece of uh, six inch sewer pipe. And I cut some circles out with my router and I routered some grooves on the inside of this so the sewer pipe would recess and decide here so it just is the right size for the wire on spools to fit in here so when you pull on this it unspools. Now why is that important? That is important see how it unspools and it's flat? So that's important because if you don't do that it twists and it's a really 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 big pain in the butt to install it. So I'm getting ready to pull another run of wire and um, it comes off my spool, which you can see right here. All right, and then it runs over and up to the rafters. I'm gonna roll my staging down there and go grab that wire and I'm gonna run it all the way down here to each can light, down to the end and then to the can light, which is right above this camera actually. 
and that'll be my starting point and I'll start I'll put it in that box and I'll work and I'll start nailing it working my way back so that I don't waste any waste as little wire as possible wires not cheap um, and that'll give me almost half of the run to the end and the, the box that I end up with down there which I'm actually starting pulling the wire from is the last box in the rung and that'll just loop back on itself and, and that completes the circuit um, It'll make more sense as I do it, so here we go. So, if that hadn't bound up, that would have worked a lot better. Um, you can get an idea how I'm rolling the staging around here. Probably not the safest thing in the world, but you know what? It works really well. Um, it's way better than moving the ladders around all the time. Um, that would have taken me 15 minutes doing it from ladders. It took me a minute doing it from the rolling staging. So, yeah. Hey there. I realized a second ago that uh, I needed something to stand on to work on this stuff. cam light and these are the two wires that are coming into the cam light they come off that brace in the back and this is what you see when you open up the box so you take this cover plate off I set it behind there I push up these two little tabs because that's where my wire is going to come in at I get rid of these instructions which I've read a thousand times these style cam lights come with the pre-done push connectors which are super handy if you can so there, you can see these pre-done push connectors. These little guys right here, these are push-on wire nuts. They come on the ground one, these, uh, the load and the line. Excuse me, the line and the load, line in, load out. These wires come over the top and they will lay down kind of like this over here. And go into the box there, into the box here, like so. Oh. We strip them. So there, here, pull off the insulation, pull off the paper. We push our. Oh man, these are these are a little long. Definitely don't need them that long. I'm gonna trim them down just a scotch. About the same. Drop the pliers. Pop off the insulation. Okay, so you've got your blacks and your whites and your grounds. So grounds to ground. Push in. Uh, come over the top of this. White to white, and then around the back side for a black to a black. And all that gets pushed in the box. and the cover plate gets installed. That's it. That's how fast and easy that is. Nice and easy, and then those, the light bulbs get installed, and it's all done. So what you're watching here is a clip that I'm not gonna put in the video. Um, I made some stuff about some of the tools and odds and ends of materials I use. Um, anyway. I broke this electrical video into two different videos. It got really long, it was about an hour long. So I broke it down into two videos in A and B, and then I broke those down into about 13 minute long, 14 minute long videos, make it a little more tolerable to watch. So this is video A and uh, video B will be out shortly. Um, so if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it and I uh, appreciate you watching. It's uh, It's been fun making these videos. Got lots more content coming up even when I get done with the garage shortly. Got some uh, some more stuff in the works. So don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, that'll do it.